In Australia, an estimated 50% of people in prison have some kind of disability. However, since prison staff are not adequately trained, they often mistake the behavior of someone with a mental health condition or a cognitive disability as disobedience or acting out. And the staff respond in a punitive manner by sending them to solitary confinement. They don't follow the rules. They won't get up, they won't make their bed, they won't shower and all that sort of thing. So when things go wrong, our only, our only defense is to lock them up. So that's what we do. For me personally, like me being locked in a room with nothing to do, all that is doing is like giving me time to think about everything and make things worse in my head than what they are. Essentially, you are locked up in a room 22 hours a day with nothing but a bed, a sink and a toilet. You are under constant surveillance, you have no one to speak to, your food is slipped through a slot in the door, the light can stay on for 24 hours a day, and prisoners spend weeks, months and sometimes years in these situations. People are scared to lock up in there because of the way they treat you. Like, they'll put you in a smock, they'll give you no undies, they'll take all your soaps and your razors away from you and your buy-ups. And your coping mechanisms like it might be the phone call, it might be like writing a letter or doing a drawing, they take that away from you when you go into an observation unit. In extreme cases, they can be sent to a padded cell. This is an isolation room. As soon as that door closes, you feel claustrophobic. It's a very small space. There are no windows. All the walls are padded. You are under constant supervision under CCTV camera and the light stays on 24-7, um, which makes it very difficult for prisoners to sleep at night. It's confronting and it can be re-traumatising. And while we do our best, it's just not the right environment for people with mental health concerns or cognitive impairments. I've been diagnosed with stress, depression, anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. To get punished for something that I can't fix, uh, they call it a correctional facility, yet there's nothing to correct yourself with. Being so isolated can be psychologically damaging for any prisoner. But for people with disabilities, it's devastating. The government should train staff in prisons to identify prisoners with disabilities and provide support services, including mental health services. Most importantly, the government needs to put an end to the use of solitary confinement on prisoners with disabilities.